Yorkshire Terriers are awesome little dogs with big personalities. They typically have a fairly distinctive black and tan color. However, there are exceptions to the standard coloration including fully gold or blonde, but you don't see them around too often. Pure blonde slash golden Yorkies are extremely rare, as is any solid colored Yorkie. Over 99% of traditional Yorkie puppies are born with both black and tan in their coat. A rare coloration is exciting to see in a Yorkie, however, it can make or break a dog's outlook depending on who you ask. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. The secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. What makes a golden Yorkie so rare? One of the main reasons why blonde Yorkies are so rare is that the traditional Yorkie breed has had a strict coloration that has been bred into them going all the way back to the 1800s. This is why they have such a unique appearance that is so easily recognized. Hallmarks of a traditional Yorkie Traditional Yorkie puppies are almost always born a mixture of tan and black. As they mature their black hair loses pigmentation and morphs into a mixture of black and gray. This is what gives the Yorkie saddle a blue or steel blue appearance. It may take anywhere from around 6 months to 3 years for Yorkies to fully transition to their adult coloration. As a Yorkie's hair gets longer, the tan portion of their coat also tends to appear a little lighter, often giving them more of a golden or blonde look. This is why fully tan Yorkies are often referred to as golden or blonde. Breeders do not seek to breed solid colored Yorkies. Reputable breeders generally look for breeding pairs with ideal color in order to achieve the standard and traditional Yorkie color combination. Solid blonde Yorkies, and other solid colors, do not conform to the AKC's traditional Yorkie breed standards. When it comes to dog shows, a pure blonde Yorkie which is commonly referred to amongst show breeders as running gold is seen as a fault. As a result, they are not eligible to compete. Breeding these purely blonde dogs is also not recommended by people in the industry for different reasons, here's a couple. If enough people were to breed non-standard colors frequently enough, the unique and iconic Yorkie coloration could begin to disappear and may vanish forever. There are potential health risks associated with breeding dogs specifically for color. So if you are looking for a solid blonde slash golden Yorkie puppy, the odds are not in your favor. They are extremely hard to come by. Why do Golden Yorkies exist then? A true Golden Yorkie that is actually born totally gold is incredibly uncommon. Those that are born this way are said to have a certain recessive gene that comes with its own health issues. I haven't personally seen any evidence or detailed information on these health issues, believe me I've looked. Nevertheless, many enthusiasts say that these dogs should categorically not be bred. Alternatively, Though still uncommon, purebred Yorkies can be born with an improper saddle pattern and so very little black slash blue can be seen in their coat. These are healthy dogs that only appear to be mostly or fully golden or blonde. These solid colored dogs are still not eligible for dog shows and they also shouldn't be bred to conserve the traditional breed coloration. However, they may still be recognized and registered with the AKC if both parents are traditional purebreds. What do people think of golden Yorkies? While most of the population certainly wouldn't turn their nose up at a blonde or golden Yorkie, their status among dog breeders and experts in the community is not always so golden. Revered Yorkie breeders actually recommend people stay away from solid colored Yorkies. They say some breeders purely breed them for color and may be doing so unsafely. There have been cases of breeders scamming less experienced owners into paying over the odds for these rare color types. At the same time, they may not have been bred to the same high standards and may even have underlying health issues. Blonde puppies may be pushed off faster than their correctly colored brethren. Since breeders are looking for specific coat types and colors when breeding to meet AKC standards, puppies that don't meet these criteria often will be the first to go. 
Breeders may try to sell them as quickly as they can or even turn them into their local shelters so that their own reputation isn't brought into question. Solid-colored Yorkies aren't allowed to compete in dog shows. As previously mentioned, any dog straying from the standard Yorkie colors cannot compete. While they may still be considered Yorkshire Terriers, the board does not want the specifications for breeding to change with the addition of solid-colored dogs. Despite the bad rap that Golden Yorkies have among specialists, they still deserve to be loved. Regardless of color, a blonde Yorkie is just as lovable as their colored counterparts. So, if you aren't concerned about breeding or competing in the AKC, then a Golden or Blonde Yorkie can be a valuable addition to your home. Health Risks When Breeding Blonde Yorkies Various colors are made up of different mixes of dominant and recessive genes. While coat color may not seem like a big deal to the general public, well-versed breeders work very hard to breed them correctly. Breeders who only breed to achieve that blonde color may not factor in other health issues. If breeders are only concerned about getting one solid color, they may keep breeding or even inbreed their dogs to get that gene to express. This can lead to health conditions like heart problems, joint pain or other issues in the process. Blonde Yorkies are rare but this mainly because their existence is not necessarily a good thing. Rare makes them sound like some kind of exotic treasure to be hunted and found. However, the truth is these dogs are rare because of the potential implications of breeding a solid colored Yorkie. Some irresponsible breeders may breed these puppies for their rarity, without care for the consequences. With this unusual coloring may also come defects and health problems. However, because they are rare people can be conned into paying over the odds for them. Be sure to ask questions and thoroughly check out the breeders before investing in one of these dogs. Nonetheless, all dogs need a home and to be loved, so don't feel that you can't give one of these dogs a chance at happiness. Just don't support irresponsible breeding practices and actively seek these dogs out. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the secret training technique guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel Little Paws Training if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.